What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Legion United Career Mode. We're in Season 4 now, and a challenge I was not expecting. So, what do you get for finishing 5th back-to-back seasons in the Premier League? You get a fire sale from the board. So, I was expected to sell £45 million pounds before the first transfer season, uh, before the first transfer window ended. That led to a big change in the team. So here we got some of the guys we had replacing. Got some younger, cheaper guys. Ramsey, uh, Bolton, and Shaloba. They were replacing big names like Tarkowski. Yeah, bought right away by from PSG. It was basically how we got the, the big money. Alcala, Casillas, Dorico, Kalker on a free. And Vardy retired. So this is how the team's shaping up. Basically the same as last year. Except for that big hole that Tarkowski is now leaving. So... This is how they bounce back. I can't believe it was expected to sell. Especially when we're making our big Champions League debut after our Europa League win. And let's settle in and listen to that song. Unreal. Gives me chills every time. So this is how the group's shaping up. Let's get right into the action. So after getting smoked by Barcelona in the Super Cup, they defeated us 3-0. We're going to start off our first group game against RB Leipzig. And it started off well for the traveling loser, with a sweet through ball in from Bangford to Harrison to give us the 1-0 lead away. But it would be RB Leipzig answering back late with a Hartman goal there, giving uh, Leipzig the comeback draw and breaking Lee's hearts. The next game would be against Dynamo Kiev. And after pretty much dominating most of the game, nothing says expert or sorry, legendary like that bounce back goal for Dynamo Kiev. Just shot block equal top shelf. And then against uh, Atletico, we needed something here. And it would be Atletico getting off the mark first with a Jose header goal. And then we would answer as Matt O'Reilly coming in here gets taken down. And it would be James Madison slotting it away to make it 1 1. Then a really strange moment here at the end. It's going to be Atletico down the wing. Rashford gets a good header in, but what's Ludwig doing? Why is he Why is he just looking at the ball? Like, it's, it's near a post that's like maybe getting done, but just looks at it. So that basically ended our, our campaign right there in Champions League as we finished last in the group. Premier League form, however, was better. Vidant would get back-to-back game-winning goals. One right there against Burnley, then a ridiculous turnover by West Ham would lead to another Vidant 1-0 win there. And then right before the midway mark, we'd have Shalaba here. <laughs> we're getting a stupid bounce of our own to finally beat Arsenal. So let's check where we're at in the table. So looky here, what does your first win against, Ar- against Arsenal get you? Oh, they offer you the job as manager. Uh, but no thanks, Arsenal. I'm going to stick this one through, see how it leads, because we are sitting number two in the table right now behind our bitter, bitter rivals, Manchester United. Uh, So hopefully we can get ahead of them at least and try to bring home our first Premier League championship after the disgusting end to our Champions League season. Madison top, right there, 13 goals, leading the league right there, and also doing pretty well in assists, and Ludwig, actually the most clean sheets in the season so far. Um, We added some firepower to the squad. We ended up getting Enes Unal, 84 Rated striker with a sick flow. So hopefully he can help get some more goals up front and not leave it all on Madison. And then we also got Nicholas Stark to uh, help with the aging uh, Bartley. Hopefully he can uh, help out in the center defensive uh, defensive back role. This is how the team's shaping up. Notice a change to 4-4-2 with a diamond. And that's because Real Madrid came looking for Pierre-Emil Hoiberg. So we can't. I I love Leeds. We're a big team, big team in England, but there's no bigger team than Real Madrid. So they came in, offered him 50 mil for him. So we sold him. Trying to be realistic. So you got to say yeah there. So this is what the team's shaping up, and let's try to get that championship with the second half of the season. Let's start it up now. So the first game would be against Manchester City, and Unal in his debut would be taken down, and then he would take the responsibility, step up, and slot it past Ederson to give Leeds the one 0 lead. And then, got to show you this one here. So Robert's going to get in, use his power and pace, incredibly quick right now. 
go out wide and then look at this finish, a little dink over Edison making it 2-0 for Leeds. Then next would be at Goodison Park. Crazy rough challenge there by Roberts, no foul given. He's gonna come in alone on the keeper and slot it home to give Leeds a 1-0 advantage. Then Osiman, another nice legendary bounce. Would tie the game there, 1-1. Next would be Aston Villa. We get a nice second bounce of our own there as Madison puts away the goal. Then Vinan coming in, everyone closes down on him, so he drops it for Uno. Uh, Vinan would have one late for 3 0 Leeds win. Then off to Manchester United, possibly the biggest game of the season. And backup keeper Button making two huge saves here to keep it 0 0. This is how the table looks with two games remaining. We're sitting at the number one spot. City have that game in hand, and that would be huge. As late in the 85th minute, Roberts gets a chance here and Allison makes a huge save and that would be so crucial. As in the 93rd minute, it would be Liverpool captain Keane giving them the win. So what does that mean for us? It means that we finished second behind Manchester City who made that game in hand count. And a good way to bounce back from back-to-back -back 14th place finishes for them to grab another Premier League title. Nottingham Forest, Stoke and Middlesbrough would be the ones being relegated. Uh, Harry Kane would lead the way for uh, the Golden Boot with 25. Madison kind of cooled off. He was uh, injured for about a month. So Ludwig also got injured as well, but he was able to hold on to the most clean sheets. Guys, that, may, that sums it up here for Season 4. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Season 5 should be coming soon. Thanks for checking it out, guys.